Welcome back. Let's get a quick handle on what's happening in the world of commodities now. Manisha Gupta is joining in. Manisha, what's the one commodity that you're tracking today? Well, I'm looking at the metals as a sector today because we've seen some buying come back onto this one. Copper for the last couple of days has been shining, but zinc is back in the positive right now. So is the case with silver. We've seen some of these metals actually gain because there has been some softening in the dollar index. The treasury yields have declined a bit, and that all is because of the U.S. data that we saw in the markets yesterday. The traders also are looking at the Chinese trade data that comes in on this week as well. So ahead of that, there is some buying that we've seen into the markets. Remember last uh, month when all of this data came in from China, it was better than street expectation. That, that clearly has been supportive. The U.S. ISM services PMI shows a sluggish growth and that tells you that perhaps the U.S. Fed will not hike rates on 14th of June when they meet. And there in any case is a nearly 78% probability right now of pause in rate hikes when we meet on 14th of June. So that really seems to be supporting right now. I mean, it's trading quite flat to positive as we can see in silver. It has been a positive positive opening in the Asian markets, China that is, for zinc, copper, aluminum, all of those metals have been trading higher. The higher rates in US, UK, Europe continue to weigh is the reason you haven't seen a runaway rally come in for this one. But copper prices, let's start with that. And those prices gained up by 1.5%. We are trading at 8,360 right now. Last month, we did see copper prices break below $8,000 per ounce as well. So it has been $300 to $400 of a jump up there. Also, when you look at the copper cash to three month spread, that has declined quite sharply. $2 now versus $66 a ton in the previous uh, couple of weeks itself. That tells a different story, of course. But the markets also are looking at concerns in Peru and Chile. You are looking at lower production from there. And there was a Julius Baer report last night which says $8,000 is a good buying opportunity for copper. It is expected to hold support at those kind of levels there. The other metals have done well. Silver and zinc, for example, are doing positive. Zinc has come off its 26-month lows. We saw the prices decline by nearly 15% for the month of May. But June has started on a positive note. The LME inventories at 49,000 tons are just about at two days of global consumption. That has been supportive. And even as a lot of smelting activities have picked up in China and Europe right now, the markets still believe that the kind of demand expectations that there are by the third and the fourth quarter, you still are looking at lower inventories. Silver as well, trading in the positive. We are looking at prices off to month lows. We did see prices decline all the way to 22 and a half as well. So we are back around 23 and a half on your screens. For silver as well, the industrial demand for the month of May has been positive. Also, this is going to be a fourth straight year that you are looking at a global deficit in case of silver. Last year was a record deficit and that's exactly where the markets are taking support from. This is what we've done on a week on week basis. So last six or seven trading sessions, it has actually been positive as you can see across precious metals and base metals as well. The only thing that's trading in negative and a marginal negative has been zinc and we have seen buying come back onto this one as well in the day today. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot.